Once you've logged into your Scratch account, you'll see your username in the top right. But if you go over here to the left and click Create, that will load the Scratch programming environment. This is the new online version. What we've got here on the left is a preview window. This is basically where your animation and game uh, is actually created and played. Underneath it is a list of all the sprites. A sprite is simply an object in your game. It might be a player, it might be an obstacle, it might be something to do with the background. We can create our own, we can even choose some from an inbuilt library and move them around the way we want. To add code, all we do is click on the sprite we want to add code to. So here I'm clicked on the beetle and then I've got all these sections for different types of scripts and then a whole lot of coloured blocks. So I need to always start with an event uh, block. This is what needs to be triggered in order for a sprite's code to run. Bearing in mind, some of your sprites might just be there for the background and not have any code, whereas other sprites will have heaps of code. So let's say I'm just going to click and drag when space bar is pressed. I want this beetle to continuously, which is this forever loop idea, I want him to continuously turn 15 degrees to the right. So when I press the space bar, that's exactly what the beetle does. Now to stop him, I'm just going to click stop up here. When I click the cat's sprite down here though, the code over here has disappeared. That's because we can put the code behind individual sprites and that's how we get organized. We can go up here to costumes where we can see um, we might have slightly different costumes to create the illusion of animation. We can create our own, change colors, all that kind of thing. We can even use sounds, some inbuilt ones, we can record our own, we can import other sounds. And then once we're done, we just need to go up here in this little title bar and call it whatever we want, let's say tutorial 1, and then click file save now. That saved it to our online storage area on the Scratch 2 website.